Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everybody to the 2000, uh, excuse me, the September 28, 2023 uh, board meeting. I'd like to um, start this thing off with our item B1 on our agenda, which is our invocation. Pastor Randy Burns, would you please lead us in prayer? Uh, would you bow with me? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, so much for your goodness and your grace. Father, we thank you for uh, the good and important work uh, that our school board and administration does. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for this community, uh, including all of the students uh, and teachers and faculty and uh, parents and everyone that makes up this community. Uh, Father, we are uh, grateful uh, for all of these things. Uh, Father, we pray uh, tonight that you uh, just bless us with uh, your guidance, uh, with your wisdom. Uh, that you would uh, renew our hearts, that we may know your good and perfect will. Father, we pray that you would also bless us with uh, compassion uh, and with unity. Uh, God, that in all these things you would be glorified and honored. We ask them uh, in your precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much. All right, we'll go to C1, the adoption of the agenda. I think the we adopt the agenda as presented. Second. I have a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. We'll go to D1, the approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Board members, you have before you your uh, minutes from the August 31st, 2023 board meeting. Are there any additions and corrections to the minutes? Seeing as none, I make a motion to approve the minutes for the August 31st, 2023 board meeting as presented. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. E1, superintendent's report. All right. Be very brief. This this uh, month, first, congratulations to our teachers, students, and the community on the test scores that were released today by MDE. I guess we have to put a crowd to be square. So, we're very proud of those results and thank the school board for supporting them. Uh, previous administration, Mr. Sheely, Mr. Campbell, all of our principals, we have great working, hard working people in our district and we're proud of the work that done, they have done and we hope the community is proud as well. This month we recognize our rookie and champion teacher of the month and we may start bringing them to uh, acknowledge them in front of you all. We had a faculty advisory meeting where we take concerns from teachers and try and answer those concerns and get back with them, um, just giving them a voice in the organization. Uh, there was a Chamber of Commerce luncheon that I was the guest speaker uh, at, and I, they invited me to come back, so I guess I did okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we participated in an, uh, a webinar, a national webinar, uh, because of the work that's going on in our school district. As a result of that webinar, the Carnegie Foundation out of New York invited us to apply for a $200,000 grant to support the work that we're doing in the district. Uh, they were very, very impressed and we've got and calls across, from across the nation to come and see what we're doing here in Vicksburg Warren School District. Um, we are visiting faculty meetings, Dr. Green, I mean, Mr. Green, Dr. McGee and myself at every school just to be visible and talk to uh, our staff members and let, let them know we support them and get any of their concerns there as well. And just busy, busy time and busy month. Can you go over all of our A districts? I mean, all of our A schools, because we have quite a few. Oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. A and B schools. Really yes, sir. If you give me a quick second, I can do that. While I'm doing that, we can definitely acknowledge uh, Warren Central High School made the jump to an A school, A high school, uh, with uh, nine, what was it, 854? 776, yeah, right on the number. So, yes, they are, uh, Bovina is an A school district. Hold on while I'm pulling this up. I'm sorry about that. Accountability. So did he say Bovina too? Yes, sir. Bovina was an A. Yes, sir. If you all will give me a second. I'm sorry about that. Give me one second. I should have had that pulled up. Let's see here. All right. Uh, one second. I will read those. He's not, he's not real good under pressure. No. <laughs> Don't put me on the witness stand. I might fold. All right. Let's see. 
No, no. While you're doing that, I want to yes, say sir. to you and to Mr. Green and to Dr. McGee that yes, the rumblings from the teachers and from the students around the district that talk to me, yes, sir. They, they really appreciate y'all's visits yes. and seeing Thank your you. faces. So I know Thank that makes you. a huge difference in their lives. Yes. Get a final time. Yes, sir. I'm doing you. Keep close. <laughs> You got it? Okay, thank you, Mr. Green. Thank you for the backup. All right. All right, yes, there we go. All right, so we have Bovine is an A. Redwood is an A. Yay. And we had uh, Warren Central High School, or our A schools in the district. Uh, let's see. The B schools maintained. We had uh, Beechwood was a B. Uh, <laughs> Bomar was a B. Sherman Avenue, South Park, Missouri, no pressure. <laughs> Way to go, Missouri. Warrington was a B. Vicksburg High School was a B. And the district maintained this B, and we improved in proficiency at every school, every grade level in math and ELA. So improvements across the district. Now my computer shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well next, um, earlier this month we lost a longtime teacher uh, and, and friend of Warren County, Ms. Thelma Jean Winston. And the board would like to adopt a resolution and with y'all's permission I'd like to read that, it's okay? All right. The Board of Trustees of the Vicksburg Warren School District, in an effort to honor and memorialize a longtime teacher and contributor to the children of Warren County, does hereby agree to adopt the following resolution. Whereas Thelma Jean Winston departed this life on September 6, 2023, after devoting 25 years of teaching the children of Warren County. During this time, she sponsored various clubs and received the Teacher of the Year Award and whereas Winston was a 1973 graduate of Warren Central High School, a graduate of Alcorn State University, receiving a Bachelor's of Science degree in education, and a graduate of Auburn University, where she received her Master's degree in education. Whereas Winston touched the lives of thousands of children with her passion for teaching and authentic caring for each and every student in her classroom and school, and her legacy of commitment and dedication to the community has enriched those fortunate enough to have known her. Whereas Winston leaves behind her loving family members, friends, students, and colleagues. Now therefore be it resolved that the Vicksburg Warren School District hereby honors the life and work of Thelma Winston, a longtime teacher, and recognizes the value contribution she made to the well-being of her students and community. Further that this resolution be presented to her brother, Charles Winston Sr., her sisters, Harriet Lane, Beatrice Perkins, and Dorothy Erbs. Further, that this resolution be made part of the minutes of the Vicksburg Warren School District so ordered this the 28th day of September 2023. Extremely sorry for your loss. Thank you. Should we accept the resolution? Yep. I make a motion to uh, approve the resolution. We have a motion on the floor to approve it. All right. Second. We have a motion in the second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. I'll go to uh, agenda item F1, project updates. Mark, would you take the podium? Good evening. Good, evening. Good to see everybody again. Hopefully you have your report in front of you. Can you read it at your leisure? Uh, and I just hit some of the high points since I met you last month. I guess a couple of big things that I may have mentioned last month, they did complete the roofing work and the roofing manufacturer did his inspection. He actually had a very good inspection. I think there were only about five or six items that they found at all. 
they're working off those punch list items. It's been reported they're complete. I need to confirm that. I've, I've not checked it. And the manufacturer will be back to do so as well. So in, with that, in that regard, there were some single tiles damaged in D-Building. Is that related to air handlers or a roof? I wasn't aware of that, but I'll check into it and find out. Okay. In B-Building? I believe it was B-Building. Yeah, I heard, I've heard of it just our roof. Yeah. yeah. I'll check. Um, happy to report the glass has arrived. Now, I'm told it's all there. I didn't physically go count every piece of glass, but I can tell you it's staged around the site and they were uh, actually installing it in the, in the uh, secure vestibule. And the plan is that that should be completed by the end of next week at the latest. Um, painting is progressing and nearing completion. VCT installation has started the flooring. If the, in the main agora from about the fire door back east towards softball field. I believe all of it's installed, plus the corridor 300 is installed in the Entrepreneur Lab. Uh, we've got the gym basically ready to go for your volleyball games next week. The cleaning crew is coming in tomorrow to clean that up so you can use that facility next week. Um, I guess those are probably the, the biggest points unless there's any questions. Uh, we, you updated me a minute ago will you update the board on the ring road going around oh. behind yeah i'm sorry i forgot about that your loop road and your asphalt parking right now is scheduled to be done over the fall break they're starting on i guess that's what friday and working through the weekend and into monday so hopefully that'll go well and we'll have the parking lot they will have to stripe it after that at some other point probably on another weekend but at least the asphalt will be placed by that time and um, we're turning over the, the gym. I don't know if I'd say turn it over. I'd like what I'd like to do is allow you guys to use it. We still have to get in there and do a punch list okay. and before we declare it substantially complete. But it, partial use, yes, will be allowed. Before we partially use it, will that transition be there? No, sir. That that won't be done yet. The, I'm not sure if the VCT on either side of the fixed. They're going to try to get that installed before next week. That was maybe the only two areas not complete. So we won't be letting people in from the Agora okay. through that door. So it's going to be a trip hazard, I guess. Right? Yes, sir. They'll come in from the A building side. I am having them put in some wood so that it is not a trip hazard. Okay. But I won't have the permanent flooring down by then. So you said the painting is just about through. You mentioned earlier that there was some spiral duct that needs to be painted too. So does that mean that there's to do that? Or? Yeah, there's touch-up stuff throughout that's been pointed out to them that need to be done but as far as you know making their pass for instance one of the big items was the gas piping on the roof had not been done i know that there's been two coats applied to it i've not inspected all of it to make sure that it's okay but i do know they got up there and did it they've painted if you notice some of the steel around the exterior of the building you had some steel columns uh, some downspouts uh the steel on the uh, fire pump house got painted uh the front canopy that was pretty obvious and then on the inside of the Agora, most of it's been done. Have you punched the um, courtyard in front of the uh, cafeteria? No, sir. The enclosed courtyard? Not okay. completely. So there are issues with concrete or whatever you all Yes, still, sir. I'll punch that. that fixed. Yeah, they, during routine monthly observation, they pointed, we pointed out some issues that had to be corrected. They've made some attempts at some of those corrections. Some of those related to the concrete? Yes, sir. Okay. And they... But no, it's not been a final blessing on it. Did you also notice that other kind of crack? Yes, sir. And there's the one actually in the new port. Yes. Say another one. Oh, okay. It looks like maybe a truck or something may have rolled lift. I, I don't know what it did, but it broke the end off. So okay. there'll be areas like that to fix. Any other questions, board? And he's not asking for any money, so we can let him go. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Tonight. <laughs> All right, G1, the financial report. Good evening. Good evening. Can I pause you for a second? Yes, sir. Would y'all want Would y'all want to go ahead and leave so you don't have to sit through this whole meeting? We'll, we'll take a reset for two seconds and let y'all get out of here. Thank you all for coming.
you want to you want to stay and hang around? Okay. okay. <laughs> just just asking. All right, Miss Hughes, will you proceed? Good evening. Good evening. I will present to you today the monthly report, financial report as of August 31st, 2023. So our first slide tonight is our revenue budgeted to receive year-to-date actuals. So if you notice, um, for our ad valorem, we have on hand or we are targeted to receive $32,253,807.10. And to date, we have received $496,875.25. Our other local revenue, the budget is one million twenty-five thousand nine hundred and fifty-three dollars. We have received thus far one hundred eighty-three thousand nine hundred sixty dollars and sixty-one cents. Our homestead exemption, as of to date, we have not received any homestead exemption for the month of August. Our MAEP, we are targeted to receive twenty-nine million two hundred and forty-one thousand dollars to date. We have received four million four hundred forty-three thousand. $133.86. Our other state revenue, we are projected to receive $4,572,540. We have received $703,761.92. Federal revenue, thus far we have not received any. And then other financing sources, we have not received any to date. I have a question, ma'am, if you will allow me yes. to uh, stop you at this point real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, the last statement you made, and then I'll uh, digress in just a minute. But as all of us have been doing in the uh, news, uh, they're talking about a proposed, and let me, let me rephrase it again, Mr. Uh, newspaper, a proposed shutdown. But they say... If there is a shutdown, and if, say, 15% of your money comes from Fed funds, there may be a problem. You just said we have zero right now. So if that's the case, and, and by the 30th, we have a shutdown, how's that going to affect us? Well, the majority of our federal funding is not represented here. These are the numbers that you're seeing here is for the district maintenance. Our federal funding is in another uh, fund, which would be reported in your statements that you have in another spreadsheet. But should the um, government shut down, then we would have to tap into our fund balance to support those individuals and those services that we currently have for federal programs. So it goes back to my last month question, and I'll leave it there. Thank you. Hey, Jim, I think I understand your question. I don't think that the shutdown that's going to happen Friday night, it only affects 17% of the budget. It's not, I don't, the question would be as to whether or not it actually impacts mm -hmm. education. That's the whole irony of it is we're going to shut the government down for 17% for of the budget, although it's important to, to save every dollar we can. It's not, my, that's my understanding. So yeah. it, it's possible that it may not affect that possible but the education may be in it um on the at the alarm that you we haven't received i know the bulk comes in february i get it yeah. will we have enough to sustain ourselves in november and december we will have to tap into um the fund balance when we get in those months thank you So the revenue for uh, district maintenance, again, which is Fund 1120 uh, for fiscal year 24 compared to fiscal year 23. Fiscal year 24 is in the green, fiscal year 23 is in the blue. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is a slight uh, decrease from last year to this year. Do we know why? 
the decrease in the revenue from the current from last year to this year? No, I, I would have to delve into it oh, to tell you exactly why. This is right. All washes out. Probably some of that uh, ESSER money. That yeah, we do get um, reimbursement from ESSER. Yeah. Um, so, yes, it gotcha. could possibly be, but I would need to look into it to see. Um, so for expenditures for the current year for, again, district maintenance, we have for instructional $39 million budgeted, and we have to date spent $3,021,842. For support services, we have $28,442,769 budgeted. To date, we have spent $4.7 million. For facilities and acquisitions, again, Thus far, no expenses, and then other financing sources, again, no expenses. Our expenditures as compared to 2023, again, 2024 uh, is in green, 2023 is in blue. Uh, if you notice, our expenditures for this current fiscal year is slightly down from last fiscal year. Our revenue versus expenditures for district maintenance, physical year 2024 is in green, physical year 2024 is in uh, the blue. Uh, if you see for August, our revenues are 3.2 million and our expenses to date are 5.2 million. And this is just showing you the plot of how those expenditures are uh, the fund balance trend. So again, FY 2024 is in green, FY 23 is in blue. And if you see the trend, FY 24 is slightly lower than FY 23 on the fund balance. So it is almost 2.4 million below. Any questions? That being all, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the finance officer's report. Is, Second. Does that include all the all of this? If it includes everything that she has, I do have one other question. I, but she hasn't covered it. Well, maybe she has. I was halfway asleep up here. Did mm -hmm. Did you mention anything about the casino? Uh, I could report that out to you. Okay, no, ma'am. I, I was just asking be, 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 before. I'm sorry, I stuttered a little bit. But before his motion, uh, may I ask a question on? Can't find my stuff around. Can't see very well either. Okay, so uh, I was looking on the floor flow report. District maintenance fund. Oh, district maintenance fund. You had the year 23, 24. You know, you see where I'm talking about? The cash flow report for August. I guess I can't. See. Yeah, yeah, it's not cash on the. It has SH on mine. So, okay. Ca yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, down at the bottom, um, and I appreciate you correcting me also. Down at the bottom where you have estimates uh, for May and June. And it's showing like four mil, and then it shows almost seven mil. You see where I'm talking about? It's the payroll? Yes. Okay. Here's my question. Um, the reason why it, it, it jumps so high, is it because of the raises we gave last year? And because PERS is going to jump from 17.4% to what I'm looking at now is 19.4. Is, is that the, the reason and cause this has jumped up so high? 
are you looking at June? June has an accumulation of June and July carryover payroll. So in June, we have to process all of teacher salaries for their pay for July in June, and that amount in turn posts to June. So that's why the number looks like it's one and a half times what it is every month because of that carryover payroll that has to be applied to the ending fiscal year as opposed to the beginning of a new fiscal year. So that, that will go down next time I see it. Is not, that what you're telling me? Not for, Ju not for June. No, you, no, for the, for, the, for the next month. For July, that's July, right. July, August, September, October, November, December. For July, December. it will go down. That's okay. correct. When do you include uh, PERS uh, increase? When, when is it due? It is not scheduled to increase until July 1st, 2024. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, so we have a motion on the floor to accept it. Can I get a second? Or have I got a second? You had a motion. I had a motion. Okay. You had a motion, not a second. Yeah. All right. We have a motion, second. All in favor? Uh, All opposed? Motion carries. Okay. I think it's still with you, but my computer is messing with it. But to the next item. We're supposed to have the auditor on. He was supposed to come on Zoom. Okay, we expect the auditor to. Uh, Nigel and Jonathan. What are we doing? The auditor report. Oh, that's this right. They didn't log on. Okay, we'll go to item G3: accounts payable claims docket. Any questions on that, gentlemen? And thank you so much for reformatting this where we can tell where our money is going. <laughs> You're welcome. We're, we're working on it. We'll fine tune it one more time for you. I did have one question. On okay. the first page, about two thirds of the way down, there's an energy bill for $484,000. And it says Bovina beside it. Well, it, it was condensed, but it's really for several of the schools in the district, so it should have represented several of the schools in that total. I was fixing to say, we got a bad problem. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they got an A there. I missed out. All totally. plugged in. I missed out. <laughs> They're out there all night. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any other questions, gentlemen? Okay, we can move on then to approve, 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 approve the claims. Okay, we got a motion, and we need a second to approve the claims document. Make a motion that we approve the claims document. Second. second. Got a motion, a second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Item G four, capital assets. It is as presented. Any questions on that? So move, Sturgis. All right, got a motion. Second. Steve. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. All right, then we have a 16 section land update. No action on that. Looks like everybody has been current. notified and current. Okay. And current. Yeah. And some of these that are here, we have already received. Okay. All right. The G6, the workman's comp renewal. Uh, this is the yearly renewal for workers' comp. Uh, finance is requesting that the board accept uh, the pro proposal from Berkeley. Uh, it is the same carrier that we have had in years past, and we are seeking to renew with them again this year. Berkeley. They're the carrier. But it's two teams, Levin. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. He's the okay. agent. There's no discussion. Get a motion to yes, sir. On our, our workman comp, do we have classes doing semesters on on safety 
at the schools the community? I don't think we do coach that some Berkeley may do it. If not, there's some folks who do it. We can we can get Dr. McGee. I'll get with Dr. McGee on that. We can get somebody to come in. But that does help on your premium when you show that you all have the classes. So that's a that's a good question. Any other also, questions? One, one more. Yeah. Do we have a designated person in the school to be the, the, the safety officer that reports to? Yeah. As, it, as it pertains to workers' comp. But, oh, yeah. yeah I'd have to ask that. Yeah. Yeah. Who, uh, who handles accident reports? Do you know? There's, there's an aided person by the principal or the principal yeah. himself. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Do we have that? All, do all, all the schools have one? Yeah. Or two? Thank you, Coach. Good question. Good question. Any other discussion? Okay, well, I guess we need a motion to uh, to accept this recommendation for renewal. I'd like to make a motion that we accept the renewal. Got a motion? Second. And a second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. And the next item is the request to extend staffing mm -hmm. solutions contract, and it's going to be through the end of the school year. And you want to explain that? Yes. Um, initially, we came before the board and asked for a three-month extension. However, uh, Child Nutrition has had some transition in their department. And with speaking with the director of Child Nutrition, she has requested to maintain those services throughout the school year until she can make an assessment of staff and determine how many people, in fact, that she still currently need from staffing solutions, or if at all, she should need to continue the services for the 24-25 school year. Any questions on that? Any discussion? Well, there's only a question. What's, um, how many people do we currently have employed the staff? 150 something. Yeah. Okay. And we'll be evaluating more than child nutrition. We'll be evaluating all of the staff that we go through them with. All right, thank you. And is this legal to do? Do we not have to bid this out or? Not for this. It's a service. Okay. I do want to say, and I, I think the superintendent would uh, notice this obviously, but if they send you a new contract, just make sure it's the renewal of the old contract. It's not a new, because yeah. we've had to change the terms before with this company and a lot of other companies. So just make sure it's a renewal of the existing contract with the same terms uh, and don't let them just send you new and with new days to start without looking at the terms or let, or let me know. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So I'll make a motion that we approve the um, extension of the staffing solutions contract uh, and ensuring that we are validating that the it is the old contract and doesn't need to be reviewed by the attorney. Second. Got a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. I will now move on to our proposed consent agenda. Uh, you have it in front of you, and if you want to pull anything, I'm going to pull these for a dear friend of mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we're going to pull G11. Wait a minute. Wait just a second. H11. 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 G yes, you had G7 on there. You meant eight? Did you mean eight? Probably. I probably, yeah, well, that do was just answer whatever it was. So don't worry about G7. What about 11? Yeah, it's over with anyway. H11. H11. Yeah, yes, sir. H11, I'm sorry. H11. All right, so start over. H11, H17, and H30, I4, and K2. Are there any other items to be pulled? Yeah. I make a motion that we accept the consent agenda as presented with the uh, exclusion of H11, 17, and 30, I4, and K2. A motion on the floor? Second. A motion and a second. Discussion. Can we introduce, since Jay is on there, can we introduce our new personnel? Yeah, one second. One second. Okay, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Yeah. I right, just so got a motion to second to approve with the exceptions noted. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? 
Motion carries. Uh, what we want, to, we want to interject here one second, Mr. Sturgis, before I give you the floor and uh, introduce some new personnel. I'll let you take the floor then. Mr. Green, you want to introduce our new um, staff to work with you coming on board. All right. So here we have Mr. Ben Dodd. He's going to be our new maintenance director. Welcome, Ben. And then Dr. Keith Valerian, she got approved last month, and she's come on this month. She's our new child nutrition director. <laughs> All right, y'all welcome aboard. Thanks for coming. All right, uh, Mr. Sturgis, H11. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, to our food and nutrition, we would you please make sure they get their uniforms? We three three years behind. That wasn't part of what I had to say, but since they introduced you, I just wanted to mention it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, H11. Uh, j just a few questions. Uh, Ms. Hill, yes, um, I was trying to read this, and, and trust me, I, I didn't understand. Would you give me a 30, give my constituents, but mostly me, a an understanding of, of this $2 million that we're spending on, on what this extended learning opportunity is, please? Yes, at least two days a week for at least two hours. And each school administrator has the uh, flexibility to decide which group of students that they will target with this after school tour. Thank you. Mr. Sturgis, on to add to that, the new uh, reading program that we have, they have a diagnostic. So the students that are in there, we're going to test on that to make sure we got our money's worth out of the program. But, thank you. I'd like to uh, thank you, Ms. Hill. Yes, sir. I'd like to approve H11, please. So, I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. H17, uh, Mr. Sturgis. Um, I see Ms. Uh, Jones is not here. I was, I, 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 this is the library software. Uh, Mr. President, and may, uh, maybe I need to address it to you, is with the software comes IT, which is Brian's forte. I, I was wondering if they go through the IT department to see if the software matches um, that we'll be able Security to use it. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, and all of that and make sure of all that, that it doesn't. And, and I, that was my only question so on this. It looks like, it looks like uh, this is all being hosted externally. So um, there, we're limiting the vulnerabilities we have in house by having the software here and having all the data here. It looks like this is a hosted, um, but I you know, agree with your point. Uh, we need to make sure it still matches um, up with all of our requirements for two-factor authentication and so forth. Which you can, you, you know much better than I. Yeah. I know how to I turn a computer on, but that's it. That. My question on that same note would, have, would be who's gonna Who's going to index all this stuff and key enter all this stuff? Is that librarian going to sit in there and yeah, do that? It's, all? The, it's the same software that I, probably 95% of the school districts use. So it just it's continuing to roll over. And, and it is hosted off site so we don't have any issues with our uh, network. So this also some, brings up something. Is this something we had in the past because yes. we paid for this in the past? Yes. The reason I say that is it's a first year cost of $15,600. We're going to pay um, ten thousand. I would. I don't we're know. Pay seventy eight hundred dollars. I year. say that. Which which? I look at the right thing. No, I'm showing ten thousand three hundred seven eighty eight. Yeah, ten thousand three. Yeah, yeah. Is this is Sigma. Oh, Miss Horn is here. Yeah, Miss Horn. That it. Uh, uh, this is Miss Horn. Um, this is the library system that they use to catalog their books. Um, it has been used in previous years. Um, the cost insignia is just the second quote that we are using oh, okay. to um, go against the first quote, quote from Follett. Destiny is the, is the name of the program, and um, that is how um, they, you know, it is a requirement for them to catalog their books and know the collection and know what's going in and out of the library, and this is the system that they use to do so. Okay, so it, it's 10000 a year? Yeah, it's, if we're renewing it, you have to get a second quote because of over 
$5,000. It's over $10,000. Yeah, that's yeah. why that is second year. The second quote, years. though, showed the renewal was only um, $7,000. But the question, so this was already budgeted. We paid for it last year. We're not asking to add another $10,000 to the budget for something we've never had before. No. Same. This is something we already been occurring this cost mm -hmm. okay. yes sir okay so it's all as far as we're concerned it's all good it's a renewal. Yeah. i'd like to make a motion we approve thank you miss uh horn i'd like to make a motion that we approve h17 please second got a motion and a second all in favor uh, all opposed motion carries uh we have i4 no excuse me h30 mr uh, Sturgis. Ms. taylor yes sir um First, only, only thing I'd like to do, and trust me, let me let me tell you, I'm nowhere near being an English teacher, because I can break verbs and adjectives that I can't write worth anything. But I wanted to, I was reading here, um, when you use the word these buses are replacing, it's kind of like we own the buses already and we're replacing, but the way I read it, we just lost it because we didn't get the bid in at the time and we're just buying the buses some new buses that were never here is, is that basically what your yes. way i'm trying to read this yes. so i only thing i'm saying and it's pure schematics is that we we probably need to reword this and don't say replacing because if an auditor comes in he or she they say oh you're replacing buses where are they in my opinion I'm not a lawyer by no stretch of the imagination. I'm not an English teacher by no stretch of the imagination. And, I, and, 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 and trust me, I just wanted to kind of tell you that, suggest that to you, that, that we kind of change the wording and not, I'm not worried about the seven buses because we, like you say, we've already approved for you to purchase those. Does that make sense, Mr. President? Oh yeah, I'm with you. Okay, so with that, if the wording can be changed on the um, background information to to change the wording from replacing to just saying that we unfortunately lost the uh, first bid because da 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 song and dance um, then I'd like to approve H30 please second motion and a second all in favor uh, all opposed motion carries any update on our electric buses but the, where are the buses? Where are yeah, the buses? You can't have buses with those cars. I just wondered if they were sitting somewhere on the plastic. <laughs> they probably are, but you can't get them delivered without the cars. We got you. How much longer? I have no idea. We still in the basement. Yeah. We, we um, if you want to update on the electrification process, I spoke with the energy representative yesterday, a uh, guy out of New Orleans, and they sent back, we sent a few changes on the contract. Uh, they sent back that they agreed with maybe one or two. They didn't agree with three of them. And uh, I called the guy and said, look, we can't do these. We're a public school district. We're a public entity. We can't agree to do some of the things they want us to do. I think once he got that, he was like, oh, OK, I didn't, didn't realize it. Didn't know that that was the law there in Mississippi. And he was going to run it up the ladder with his legal team. And, Hope that you know they would have some back. I was hoping it'd be before tonight, Coach, but uh, I didn't hear back from him today. So hopefully, pretty soon we can get it done. I think y'all approved it subject to yeah. the changes, mm -hmm. right? So as soon as we can get that signed off of energy, we should be ready to go. All right, um, I four, Mr. Sturgis. Yes, sir. Um, I'm not going. Is it how you pronounce the contact person? I'm not. Is it Burbridge? Yes, it's Burbridge. Yes, sir. Bur thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, will buses be needed? Yes, sir. Okay. Did they get with the bus department to? Miss Sanford does have that information that they can be packed. Okay, okay, then. Okay. Okay. And it's no cost to the district, correct? I'd like to make a motion we approve I-4, please, with the additional information that has been provided. Second. I have a motion and a second and two seconds. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. And uh, K-2? Yes, sir. 
I am. Can I take two? Because K one both look like they're both discussion K one and two. Even though I know you pulled it as a discussion item, uh, did K one need to be discussed too, Mr. Superintendent? Uh, yes, it needs to be discussed, but no action on it. So. Okay, that, that's just the most yeah. review. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just move to. The, can we do one first and then two? And you yeah, can, without okay. a doubt, sir. All right, K one. Uh, Dr. McGee, is that going to be you? Mr. Green. Oh, yeah, you get that gal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what he says? Like, yeah, that's right. I saw him wink at me over his shoulder. All right, so these are just policy review. It is no action needed, um, and there is no updates in either of these areas for this month. So this is just for y'all's review um, for this month. Did you have a question about 2K2? I do, sir. Um, this is Dr. McGee. He had to hand that over to me. Well, I knew I was right. Yeah, since I started this, I've tried to answer the question. Mr. Sturgeon. Okay. There's a lot of red in this with Dr. Now, now uh, before, the, the red, is that Dr. McGee? Red is the new, uh, the, uh, the suggested changes. Yeah, I mean, let's suggest it. So you'll see the strike through. Those were in the old policies. So everything in black was a part of the old, the original policy. And everything in red, um, those are the suggestions to um, just add a little more, to, just to strengthen this policy up a little bit more. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, thank you, Doc. Yes, sir. Um, I think this is from what I read will control some of the atmosphere that is out there in my opinion only and, and i pray that each teacher substitute teacher assistant teacher um, all will look at if this gets approved to look at the new social media guide because it is uh, vitally important to read and understand. And that's all I have, Mr. President. And Mr. Sturgeon, I say we did share this with the faculty advisory mm -hmm. committee um, as well and the principals at the principals meeting. Did, uh, feedback, did that feedback go into this or did you have any? I, we, we didn't get any, any, uh, any feedback. Um, are they, any so changes? I know we, if we adopt this, it's policy. Um, is there any type of communication that goes out to say, to acknowledge that we have just an FYI to the to the district employees that this policy has changed? Please make sure you're aware of the changes. Yeah, yes, sir. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. Each time there's a policy change, we're going to send it out uh, okay. to, to the district. Yes, sir. So that way everyone, everyone will know and, and uh, stay on top of that. Any other discussion? Like and this has to sit thirty days. Is yeah. that correct? Okay. No. Well, it's this was this, this one was you did. Okay. Right. We right. the last right. one. So this this is this, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank, yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion that we approve K two, please. All right. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Uh, All opposed. Motion carries. Can I get a motion to go into closed session to discuss the agenda for executive session? Only if I can find the top of my pen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got a motion, second. All in favor? All opposed, motion carries.